Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. Hello. So, where are we today, Anne? We're at Dunham Massey today. We are indeed. We're in the county of Cheshire. Uh, beautiful day. Look at that blue sky behind us. Uh, you can see the house there, and we're going to head on inside in a minute and give you a tour. Uh, we hope we find you well, guys. So, yeah, enjoy this time with us. Dunham Massey is an Elizabethan house which was extensively remodelled by John Norris between 1732 and 1740 for the second Earl of Warrington. Upon his death in 1758, the house passed through marriage to the Earls of Stamford. The house was eventually left to the National Trust in 1976 by the 10th Earl. Over 400 years of history have unfolded at Dunham Massey. It has been home to not one, but two ancient families, the Booths and the Greys. Their stories of international fortune and friendship can still be felt across the estate to this very day. After passing through the kitchens and meeting the butler in the butler's pantry, we enter the house straight into the dining room. This was one of the latest additions to the house. It was built right adjacent to the kitchens so that the food would always be served piping hot. From the dining room, we entered the entrance hall with its very smart black and white tiled floor and immaculate wood panelling. We particularly liked the two blue and white covered jars on the hearth. From the entrance hall we took a left turn straight into the huge parlour. This room is magnificent with a very high ceiling and a beautiful stone fireplace. We liked the yellow walls with their white highlights as it made the room feel very welcoming. We now enter the stairwell. It is a very grand staircase which returns on itself, forcing you to look upwards. It is by no means the largest or grandest staircase we have ever seen, but it certainly has an air of grandeur about it. At the top of the staircase we enter a very pretty ladies bedroom. The windows are dressed in a pale blue silk with very ornate pelmets. Above the doors there is ornate gilt carving. The room is of course topped off with the most gorgeous crystal chandelier. The next room we saw was a very beautiful ladies drawing room. The room has many family portraits and an abundance of period Georgian furniture. It was beautifully lit by lamplight and the ambience in the room was very special indeed. From the drawing room we now enter the Great Gallery. This is a very long and very impressive room. It has wonderful proportions with windows overlooking the garden. We really liked the pale red walls and blue-green sofas. They looked really comfy. We also liked the paintings in this room. They are mostly animals, including dogs and horses.
There is a bedroom which leads off the great gallery. It houses the most magnificent 300-year-old state bed. It is dressed in a rich red velvet with gold trimmings. We were told that the bed was found in a chest in the house when the National Trust took ownership of the property. Dunham Massey has the most impressive collection of silver. We spent quite a bit of time in this room, marvelling at the family's collection. The room we appreciated the most at Dunham Massey has to be the 18th century closet library. This room houses a collection of antique books. There are 3,500 of them. However, this is only half of the 7,000 antique books to be found in this house. In this room you will also see the most splendid orrery. It looks as if it has come straight from the pages of a Jules Verne novel. It really showcases the amazing antique engineering that was carried out at this time. The last room we see on our tour today is the study. This is a real gentleman's room. It is dark with leather chairs and a huge red leather tooled desk. There are however two windows which offer great views out onto the garden. The room is panelled but the panelling has been painted so this does help to lighten the room somewhat. We exited the house back into the servants' courtyard and out through the stable block into the magnificent gardens and parkland beyond. There is the most magnificent mill which is in splendid condition with a working water wheel which we really enjoyed seeing. We also spent some time in the rose garden. This was very beautiful and the scent was actually incredibly strong. So friends, that concludes our little trip to Dunham Massey in Cheshire. It does. It does. Quite a dark house, so I hope you could see the, uh, the pictures and the video clips okay. Uh, we did enjoy it, it was quite interesting. Unfortunately there was a bit of scaffolding up in the, the main hall, so we couldn't really uh, get much uh, 
footage in there for you but uh, nonetheless we hope you enjoyed it so for now we will wish you a fond farewell and give us a like and subscribe yes please ring the bell ring the bell and we'll see you next time friends bye, bye for now bye bye